Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today you join me for another Forzathon guide for this week's Forzathon called Antiquated Roadshow um, which wants you to use a vintage racer um, to complete all of this week's challenges. Now they're not as hard as you may think or as they may look so let's get stuck in. Now first of all you're going to want to pick a vintage racer. Now there's quite a few to pick from um, albeit all of them very expensive but I believe the Bentley Supercharger you unlock as a barn find and the Napier Railton a lot of you guys should have uh, from unlocking in the past uh, festival playlist but I went with a 1939 Auto Union Type D just because it's one that I'm used to I've used before now I have got a tune for it it's B class and it's called Forzathon uh, so it's a standard engine still rear wheel drive uh, just under 500 brake horsepower now it's not too difficult to use but I'll show you in a minute now the first challenge here wants you to earn two show off skills now a show off skill Skill is a drift and an overtake skill at the same time uh, and in a normal car it's quite easy um, but I'll tell you how to do it in this one so first of all you want to go over to uh, the Ambleside uh, cross-country circuit now then you want to go and to a custom event and it's one that I've created now the share code is 6223882275 I'm sure some of you guys have used this before uh, and it's one that I've created where obviously I send the AI off the road now the good thing about this is when they all go off the road and start crashing into each other you can just drift and you'll no doubt overtake a couple of people at minimum um, so you want to be fairly close to them when you get the overtakes near the wall i'll show you it again because obviously one time's not really enough evidence it could be a one-off but it is actually quite an easy challenge to complete the first one like i said using this race when the ai are completely sort of off the course they're all stuck against a solid brick wall so all you have to do is perform a couple of drift skills as you pass them and there's your two show-off skills now the next challenge wants you to earn a total of 12 stars from speed traps. So the speed trap in question that I went to was the Asmore speed trap. Now the reason for this is three stars on this is only 140 mile an hour and you can approach it from both sides and quite easily hit 140 mile an hour to do this. Now of course I have tuned this car to just be a B class but it will still easily hit 140 mile an hour. It just takes longer than most. Uh, you can of course go and tune your cars up a bit more um, to pack more of a punch and it'll hit 140 a bit quicker but either way it's not a massive difference between this tune and another uh, and all you have to do is sort of rinse and repeat so to speak as i'm just showing you here just fast forwarded so 12 stars you can get one star on one run and two stars on others and three stars on others it really doesn't matter um at the end of the day if you can do it get three stars in each run all you have to do is four runs um so like i said it's fairly simple you do need a decent enough run up uh, with this one but it's not too bad actually to be honest it's probably take best part five minutes to complete but it is probably the easiest challenge on there now the final challenge just wants you to earn three podium finishes in a road racing series event uh, now obviously podium is first second or third but i'll show you how to come first in all of them so if you head over here to the lakehurst forest sprint uh, i've created another blueprint race for you guys to use which i'm sure some of you have done before now the share code is 2086767282 and again it's just another standard race that i've created where the ai go completely off course and you can just sort of stroll past them um of course again because this is b class the rest of the cars will be b class in the race as well so again it's not too difficult if you are struggling remember you can always turn down the difficulty for any of the challenges uh, to make life a bit easier for yourself because at the end of the day these vintage race cars aren't the easiest to control they are pretty good at drifting mind you um, but not much good at much else uh, but anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I definitely hope that it helped you out. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me down below in the comments. Apart from that, guys, a massive thank you. All the best and take care.